Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're having a great day. Here in Chicago, it's a warm winter day, but it's pretty misty and foggy, which is interesting to be out in. I hope the weather's great where you're at, too. All right, today we're going to look at Lumion material libraries, and to look at that, we have to look at LiveSync a little bit, too. Before we jump into the tutorial, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and search me up on YouTube, click on subscribe, click on the bell to receive all the notifications so you don't miss out on anything. If you are into computational design or digital design, if you're an architect, interior architect, a student of design, or any of those, there is something for you on my channel. And Lately, I've been making some Lumion videos, so if you're working in Lumion, you'll want to check out the Lumion playlist. Also, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso underscore my last name, Peluso. See what AI videos I'm making. See what I'm doing with my students and see my students work. All right. Let's jump into the tutorial. So I just have a, a plain environment file open here in Lumion, and I'm going to go ahead and open up a file. Okay, so we can see that this file has materials on it. It has a grass, it has a, a concrete patio, a floor, and some walls. Now I'm going to go over to Rhino and open up the file that I have live sync to it. And I'm going to go ahead and start the live sync. And I'm going to go over to Lumion. And it's working well. The materials are staying, but sometimes the materials do not stay. Sometimes the materials go away. So we can see the materials have gone away. It's still by material object. So what I really want to show here is we can save material libraries, and you can use them in any file as long as the materials have the same name, and let me demonstrate that. So if I click on one of these objects, um, so just note I was under materials, so over here I'm under materials, and I click on an object like material pati patio in this case, and then this pops up in the upper right where I can load material set or I can save material set. So Lumion calls it material set. I think of it as material libraries. So if I click on load material set, I can load that material set in. In the upper left here, it's going to show me all of the materials that it will replace. And in this case, I can deselect or reselect them. You can see as I move across these, they're showing up in the Lumion window, which is pretty cool. And I can just click on the check mark and those materials come in. So a really fantastic workflow to have these material libraries. And then you can start using the same materials in different files. So let's take a look at that. If I go back over to Rhino and I open up a different file, okay, here's a different file. But it has the same material names. It has walls, roof, patio. So it has similar materials. So if I go over to Lumion and I start a new file, I'm just going to load in a new file. And then I'll go back to Rhino and I'm going to live sync this. And here it shows up in Lumion. Now I want to put some materials. And I've been working with some materials. And I have a material library. So let's go ahead and do that. If I can get my viewport set up the way I want. OK. All right. So let's just go ahead and go to materials. Click on an object. Go to 
load material set, load your material library in. You can see it has, has some walls, they're blue, has a patio, which is also a warm gray. So I can click on that, and there I have my materials. They're brought in. So super helpful. And then if I go to materials, I can click on one of the objects, and I can save the material set. I can save it as something else. So you can export materials and import materials via these material sets. All right, so that was a quick video. That's all I wanted to show. Um, my head's going to pop up in the upper left, and I'm going to put some videos in the upper right. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get to 3,000 followers. Help me get there. And on YouTube, I'm trying to get to 14,000 subscribers. So help me get there. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like below. Go ahead and Submit a comment on what you liked about the video. All right, have an awesome day, and I'll see you on the next one.